You are a funny one, Ryan. Stan standing on the bench. Then Terry thought they were just for sitting. <laughs> oh well. Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we did a bunch of work for our Nopon friends, and thus we made things a happier and better and better place before we go up to the cold, heartless, desolate place of Valak Mountain, where only bad things occur. In theory. In this episode though, we are we are back home in Conley 9. And as Melly looked back, no, it's not the tree that wants a side quest, it's actually another nup on who wants help. So let's do it right now. <laughs> you heard? The Zaku and little brother upon have been fighting over ten years. Suzaku wanna go out and see big white world. But little brother upon always trying to hold Suzaku back. We've been fighting about this for the past ten years. But Zaku no the little brother still not changed mind. Zaku wanna end it now. Suzaku gotta win. That way Zaku want you to bring red pollen orb. Zaku eat one, his power will increase a hundred times. Does Zaku serious it what Zaku want to do? It's just that the outside world is dangerous, you can't go out there. Zaku never abandoned a dream. Let me go. You think Zaku lose if you eat red pawn knob? Zaku know that. Zaku not think he can do win too. Zaku have to try. Maybe Zaku can win. Thank you. And we don't need to tell him. So essentially we need to, to get this nup on drugs. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I've heard we're, we're the things. However... Iro ironically, if you were to go back during the day and to not talk to with the brother, but see him on the outside. Come on, you tree punching pillock, where are where are you? <laughs> hey, there you go. You're late for tree 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 training. What you got? Oh. It might look like me and my big brother don't get along, but we do. He's my adopted brother, and I care for him as, as he cares for me. But I just can't let him go out there traveling the world by himself. It's dangerous out there. K killed! Our next showdown is going to be the final showdown. Have to win so I can make him abandon his crazy ambitions. Oh, there's something you need to tell me? He wants a red paw knob? Seriously? I know eating one of those would make him really strong, but looks like he's willing to do whatever it takes to beat me. If he could give it to me, I can't let him win. Zaku comes so far. How could Zaku lose? Now it's time to drop this plan of yours. Just as you promised. We're gonna stay here in the colony forever. Oh, I lost. I know it's a bit boring, but Conline's not not so bad, and I don't want my brother to go anyway. It'd be no fun about you. What if I never see you again? Now you have a bit of a conflict. Yeah. <laughs> now, with this, in our last playthrough, we went through one route. But I think this time round we'll 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 do things a little bit differently. What do you want? That's dumb man just jumps. <laughs> I'm on watch again today. Aren't there, there anything more interesting missions going on? Every time I get near this bridge, I just can't be bothered. Only joking, it's my job, so I make sure I give it my best. Come around and chat if you get any time. Please, I'm bored. <laughs> Meanwhile, Good looks like I'm hanging out with my so-called mates again today. Talk about the worst bunch of friends I could ask for. Come check him out sometime. I can't believe how big of an idiot this one guy is. He sold his buggy to buy Aoife to run it. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. He's just a kid and he's stupid. He sold his buggy to Juju. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you might actually be right. Because we have not seen another buggy in this world up to this point. So, in all honesty, you could be correct. It yeah. could be him. <laughs> He could have sold it to Col uh, to Colony Six to a kid who did not know what what to do with it. <laughs> Speaking of not know what to do, 
We did some quests for this guy a while back. Let's see how things are now. Did you guys get them? Good work, man. You're learning the ropes fast. Now you need to take these to the residential district and see Betty. Betty's normally around during the day. Go and have a chat with her. Don't let me down. You get on to. Yeah. Well, as I said, residential district during daytime. Let's get this train mo mosing along, shall we? Just saw a brief flash of juju there. Not pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Hi there. Oh, you need to see me? I see. You're one of his gang. Forgive me. It's just you don't look that type. Here's what I promised him. Whatever you do, don't look what's inside. I'm a princess. I have n I have no type. With my hair down and everything. Do you see? Do you see this crown? <laughs> anyway, I have a side quest to do. Hello. Thanks for your help last time. The black nectar did my son studying, but not for long. Now he just eats the sweets and says studying. When he's sad enough, he just goes out to play. Never mind. I won't bother you about Moritz anymore. Could I ask you for help with something else? I want you to bring me two pieces of heavy bun of iron. That stuff is heavy, so it might be hard work, but will you do it? Sorry to have to ask. I think you can get heavy bun of iron from Bun of Zintuff Cave. Thank you. Now with that, already done. <laughs> Out of all the sort of so like fetch quests, I like the outcome of this. Have you brought it? Thanks ever so much. Wow, this is really heavy stuff. I'd like to see my son avoid his studies with this tying him down. It's a foolproof plan. Thank you. <laughs> you better be ready, Moritz. She's planning on tying literally a ball and chain to this kid. <laughs> Lady, you have issues. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make my child a prisoner in his own home. Excellent. That's what a good mother does. <laughs> <laughs> tying, tying him down and making him stay. Cause I'm too lazy to discipline. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna go into a whole different can, the kind of worms I has is. So, we're just gonna drop all the pretense of that right now. Go back during the daytime, and hopefully, talk more. I do apologize if 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 a uh, if uh, this does come all over the place. We, we just want to get things done as quickly and efficient as possible for you guys. So, he spoke to her. Then hand it over. Come on. I know I know she gave you something good. Yep, no doubt about it. This is the real thing. Good work. Oh, trust me. You were. Did she say something? Actually, no. I forget I asked. That's all for now. I should have another job for you later. And no complaints. Even if it's just another curry job. Crown princess. Or I should say courier princess. <laughs> <laughs> and seem like that's later is now. So let's just do it right. right now. Oh, there you are. Just nick of time. Got any idea what my plan is about yet? No? You still haven't cottoned on? Come on, it's so obvious. Anyway, you're one of us. No backing out now. Right then, here's your next job. It's sort of like your last job. Nah, it's exactly like it. <laughs> we need to get iron crabble shells and we don't have any because we are not crap. If you go to Criff Lake, you'll find tons of crabbles there. Gather up some iron crabble shells from them? Oh yeah, now I think about it, they only come out at night. But remember, you're one of us. We know you can get this done. Oh joy, prison labor. <laughs> we'll get those off screen and we... I'll do that in a little while. Dumban, I think you need to have a talk with Brian. No, let's pretend it didn't happen. You didn't even hear. You didn't even hear what I said. <laughs> Precisely. Stereo audio. <laughs> yeah. I got damn you, twenty first century technology of audio. 
I want mono, damn it! I want mono! Most kids probably don't know what mono is. Mono pawn? <sighs> True. Ah. Yeah, because when Shulk glitched out in the tomb in your episode, I didn't hear it for a while. Because it was on your side. So yeah, mono screw or stereo screws is over. I I managed to hear it towards the last like two seconds, but when you turned around, but you heard it before I did. The joys, the joy, <laughs> uh, the joys of uh, recording with with one headphone. Now you guys know how we do it. You got him? Like clockwork as usual. You're your NASA to my team. According to the list, the next job is going and have a chat with our artist friend Kenny Rohan. He should have something to give you. The only thing is, he has a tendency to move around a lot. You may need to hunt, hunt him down. Luckily for you, good sir, this actually reveals itself. Thanks, Definitive Edition. Eh. Uh -huh. Look at him move. Look at him move. He moves around a lot. <laughs> Movement, I say! <laughs> Movement! What is it? Real Sesame's go between. Make sure you get this to him. Don't go looking inside. That man does irritate me a little. Foistering is a difficult task on me. Just tell him not to mess up. And don't mention my name. Even though he told us your name. Even though I have my name literally on top up of myself. <laughs> I'm just like a giant neon sign saying, I am Kenny Ro Ro Rohan, but don't mention my name. I'm probably the only NPC with a last name in this. That's right, says a me. All right. You got the package off him? Excellent, I owe you one. He didn't mention anything else, did he? Actually, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about him. Your last job is coming up. I'm sure you can pull it off. What other jobs, dude? I'll take I'll take strength up. It seems like he wants no, nothing else from us right now. So with that, from one shady person to uh, to another, let's go to Colony Six. And how about and how about we go from back alley deals to uh, to oh uh, 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 opening up a business? Sounds this sounds a right to me. Before you go in, job time. Well, good to see you again. I'm in a spot of a bother. I'm happy to be back and all, but it makes me think. I'd like to start up a chemist. I used to own one before, you see. I'll need to make some remedies before I do anything else, but I don't have all the ingredients to make my all-purpose medicine. If I figured out, you lot get around, so you can get them for me. I need three items to make my all-purpose medicine. I need a chewy radish, two red durians, and a serous anemone. Thanks! We have everything we need. Trust me, the serious enemy. It is a godsend in the definitive distribution because you can track it. But the, ser the serious enemy was a bane for people in in the original. Us included. The only problem is you need one for this quest and one for the collectopedia. So good luck finding the other one. Oh, uh, we will be fine. You have to cover a lot of ground to find them all. But I know you can do it. Yes, by a lot of ground, we mean no ground at all. You found all of them? Now the sick can get some help. I guess I'll be helping the needy and the fakers, too. <laughs> they really appreciate having remedies to ease their ailments. And, ironically, she doesn't actually open up a chemist. She just says she does. I don't know, she could be doing back alley deals for all, for all I know. Anyway, though, there's not much else. There's not much else we can do for Colony Six right right now. But what we can do is go back to the marsh and interact with someone who we have we have helped out once before. Wonder how he's doing. Uh, and no matter how many times I come back here in this game. Never fails, never fails to look brilliant. Yeah. I'd be repeating myself if I said, can I sleep here? But I'd like to sleep in many areas in Xenoblade Nighttime. 
As long as we avoid the level 80 roll goals and stuff. And, and everything else. Seems like Zazdan's okay. Yeah. Let's hand him one, one more quest. You could do it. No, but then you put well, Zazan and whole world. Zazan is still no feel well. Oh yeah, the bird we killed five thousand episodes ago. <laughs> Which we got our revenge on, and he has died. And we'll take what he has uh, to offer, but also get the red pawn orb. You now have <laughs> you now have a choice to see if you want it. To give it to the Nopon brother or the Homs brother. Ryan, don't know what don't know what's wrong with you. Ryan was stuttering earlier. <laughs> yeah. Zazan, what else you gotta say? Zazan's still worried about something. Zazan still not feel bad. Why does Zazan not get better? Maybe Zazan ill. Zazan want you to bring medicine. If not, no medicine, Zazan. Zazan drink Nopon more potion to make illness and injury get better. Should be outside the back of exit cave near Nopon Merchant Camp. Sorry, but Zazan wants you to find and bring it for him. Pretty, pretty, please. This is where, a couple of episodes ago, that marker we left actually came in handy. Yeah. So Wiki can go over there the right now. It seems like we we're several steps behind. Uh -huh. Or ahead of ourselves, I mean. That is the common case because for those for those who are watching this series and don't pay attention to like our Twitter or anything like that, it's been a hellacious couple of months and we're still still a little rusty. So yeah, yeah. So if you have felt like the last few episodes have been a little rough or a bit, you know, all over the place, that that's probably why. But here we are, getting back into the swing. A swing of things and making things more streamlined. We thank you for your pa patience, and of course, we thank the markers for still us, us all being here when we need it. We got the Nuppon potion, the motion in the ocean. Then we get another Ephros for a little Nuppon, and I'll come off. I see back, uh, was that as uh, then no? Oh, all these bunnets. Thank God you have no extended family. Yeah. <laughs> this is all of you, isn't it? Every sing, every single one of you. And Elvis is laughing in the background. Why? <laughs> why? What? Why would he be? No reason. Look, it's Elvis. If 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 there's anything, if there's anything we've seen from Elvis is that is is he is on the up and up. He's also a fancy lad. <laughs> Elvis the fancy lad. <laughs> With nice, with, with with a nice coat. Yeah, yeah nothing on potion. You found it. That makes that a few better. Now I then have no more bad feelings at all. Hopefully. Dad, I'm so happy. Take this as thank you. Don't spit it in Zazan's face. I'll take that e he he for two. It's worth something. I'll throw the boots in your face, though. Nah. Yeah. Meanwhile. You again. Thank you for always helping us out that much. Now that I feel good like before. Do you know about the thing called the red pawn knob? Me saw you peg a corner before, goddamn thief. <laughs> <sighs> I have pawn knobs right by me. You know, no. You can use red pawn knob to make amazing thing. Here, as I give you one. Try to it in shiny pond. Maybe something good happen. You certainly do seem excited. I would be lying if I said I was not intrigued. Great! Once you see what I make, you want to make more and more. Is it really that amazing? I must admit I've never heard of it before. That's not only telling you because he trusts you so much. So you should trust Zazan. You'll see amazing thing I want you to make. 
Do it. <laughs> Zaz has friends, and you know what they say about Zaz, a damn friend. <laughs> so we now have two red, red pawn orbs in our possession. Is, is it possible that we could just give both of them to the siblings? Yeah. Have them fight it out, have it like... Have it like be a super sand fight. I'll tip the red pollen orb into the water. And we do. You know what? We get to see one lovely bit of, of, of scenery. Something that looks like food has appeared. Let's get back to see Zazadan. I am more caviar. For me, never tried caviar. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it though. You don't? Nah. Fish eggs for that price? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested in eating fish eggs. I like fish, but I don't want to eat their eggs. It could be just I am a simple man and I just like my burgers and my steaks and you know, and my fish and uh, my fish and chips and my sausage and mash and all that good British stuff. I'm not barbaric. <laughs> Me, 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 my God! Have you seen? Have you seen Irish and Scottish cuisine? Monsters, I swear! <laughs> hey, give me she binards. Yeah. And and the haggis. My apologies to any Scottish and Irish fans, but uh, just you have weird tastes. Can't be as bad as Sir Strumming. <laughs> what? Sir Strumming. Ooh, do 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 tell. It's basically fermented sardines, I think. Eh, well, ferment fermented could be good or bad. It smells really bad, like really, really bad. Can't open it inside. Oh, like durians. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. How was it? Instant, right? Huh? Not really. Too bad. Looks like you know understand how good it is. You know understand gives us a high more caviar, and try to make it want to attack him. That's because you made it. That's good. You don't understand. That's a no can help you if you do not understand. You know, you know, addicted to drugs. But now that though, we get Pioneer, which is dumb, a uh, dumb man's lightning attack. We have, we have one already. But if you want on it to sell, a, a, sell, a selling fodder, what are welcome to. And we get an honorary knop on. Does that mean? That is exactly what it means. We wow. <laughs> it means we get three stars in Central by Honest, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Because the last episode and this episode has been all leading up to one exclusive thing. Also, so someone learned a new art, and that is Charla. She has Cure Round, which is remove, remove, and removes debuff and, and continues to give debuff immunity. It's very good in certain fights, of which we will be get, getting in short, shortly. Yeah. But before we go, let's give him one more round. Have problem? No, know what to do. Oh, boys, if you haven't had a problem before. <laughs> you just said, hi, more caviar, but deliver up on no come. Zazan, so worried Zazan, no, know what to do. Then you come talk to Zazan. Means you want to help, right? Just take him carry on to Nopon called the Diba. The Diba live far, far away from Satoru Marsh. That doesn't think he might you might meet the Diba. He's up you, right? Then happy if you do. Well, we're going that way eh? anyway, so let us so let us be on our our merry way. Trying to lose the caviar in the, in transit. Yeah. You're too slow. Do you know how long it's been since I asked you to bring it? One minute ago. <laughs> You're not unusual, guy. What's going on? Did you even know why Hom Hom bought it? Hand it over. Come on now. I've been waiting so long for this. You do a good job to bring it to me. Ow. Huh? You already finished your job. That leave me alone. Did you were very busy. Me getting fixed! <laughs> Brian and Dumban leveled up from this guy get, get, getting good stuff. Okay, I questioned their motivations, but 
you know, what do I know? Mm -hmm. We got stronger from a drug addict. Yeah, caviar! Uh. This is in no way, shape, or form an, an advertisement for caviar. Why would you have one? So now, now that we have that, we get to do some. We get to finish off something that we have been wanting to do for such a long time. And, and before we do, I'd just like to mention, I like how, I like how through our adventures in uh, front in, in front of the village, we've got to see family connections. We've got to see not on rumors or folklore. There's a lot to dive into, and they're not just pretty faces, but. Gets a lot better. Nopon turns out they have a of good stuff for us. Lupa, what you got? Keep in mind, these quests now can only be accessed when oof, everyone, everyone you have three stars in Central Bionis. Right, I've come up with a way to solve the next mystery. You find more, you should have no problem moving coffin. I need some Agorasap and Aquasandos oil. Friends can get these in Magna and Erisi. I will then blend them together. We'll be right back. <laughs> I I hate you. Fall off a cliff, you stupid mon monkey. <laughs> Ryan, pr Ryan proceeded to stretch as if he wasn't doing anything wrong. No, what I do? I didn't push you around. <laughs> I did nothing at the sort. <laughs> push, push, push. <laughs> oh, be quiet. Goddamn nighttime dinos. <laughs> I and sure strumming is fermented herring, not fermented sardines. Yeah, well, in term, in term, in terms of like fish types, what's the difference? They're small fish. <laughs> dare, dare, dare I say, small fry. I would have quote Dunban, which I just did because he's right behind me. Ish. Now, this is actually a kind, a kind of difficult place to find. This brog just seems to be all right on his own. If you look behind his big, big butt right there, he's hiding, he's hiding something that we want. These no aren't dangerous by any means, just bigger size, different, and, and, and just higher attack power. But apart from that, it's nothing different compared to the brogs you fought up before. So much so that he died in the wall. Eh. Uh -huh. We get Sap Cave. We get a boatload of sap for our troubles. Thank you very much. It drips more in the definitive edition. It's even got more of an, an animation. I want this honey. Oh, that's sickly. <laughs> and I love it. But we're done, Ban. We have no time for sap. We're also Melio Mel as well. <laughs> Who also doesn't have time for sap? Ryan probably doesn't know what sap is. <laughs> because he's not a sensitive guy. Oh no, not this place again. Oh man, this is where I touched that butt. <laughs> Mel Mel Melly, meanwhile, has no context. Has no context for any of this. Dumbin and Ryan don't like these things. <laughs> Ryan, Dunban, why do you hate? <laughs> just, just why do you hate? Ryan, are you gonna say that every time we get into battle with one of these things? Yeah, just so I can drive, drive, a drive over the pun home that I hate these things. I always get it mixed up because whenever I think of Aquas, I think of blue, mm -hmm. and that and it leads me to the blue guys in the tomb. Yeah. I don't think you're wrong in, in, in thinking that. Not bad at all. 
In case you're not getting a collectible, they are not getting from a, a common drop. One thing that you could all you can always do is say you save your game and simply open the chest. Didn't get what you want. Simply re re reload. And each time, and each time uh, you reload, just like how you uh, fast tra fast travel through one part to another, it instantly respawns and the drops are reset. Keep doing this until you get the collectible in which you want. You shouldn't have a sing a single problem. It varies on drops and of course what chests you get, but there is always a chance, as always, that you can get rare drops in common chests or you could just kill another one that drops a rare drop that's fine too <laughs> and finally swear switching it one more time tonight time dope is here with answers by firelight now I have all the materials to make lubricant oil we must mix the algor sap and aquas anus oil thoroughly that will give us a smooth lubricant oil. If friends use this on coffin, then it should move easily. I look forward to hearing what lies beyond the coffin. Get a quest complete, get good stuff for it, which will happily take. I will use my power to protect my friend. And Melly gets to level up. Or something uh, because she got oil. <laughs> it's good to know that even the doors open, the corpses are still present. How lovely. One more time, why not? <laughs> Remember how I said it's worth doing all this in one go? Don't be us. Follow our advice, not how we do things. I now know how the Chromars felt! <laughs> crap! Crap, 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 crap! <laughs> Run, Melia! Look at his run. <laughs> yeah! Look at me go! <laughs> I'm frolicking in my tomb. <laughs> and of course, if I fit, I sit. Or I could just stand and just be awkward. I suppose. Thank you for dying! <laughs> have a nice freaking day, that should not have been as difficult as one needed to be. But I'll take it. I'll take the serpent boots that I've taken from stripping him of his skin. And then, let's use the lube. Gonna keep quiet on that one. <laughs> Simply move the coffin as if it were no big thing. And just for the sake of just being for the sake sake of it. Shook show now moves in with collectibles and we get soft sea cucumbers. There's only a treasure chest in the center of the room. As well as the other collectibles we picked up. Let's go tell Looper. You could but you want to examine it first. We get Battle Soul for Shulk and Eater Records. Allows anyone who studies it to learn the Eater Monado art. If you thought that it was only through cutscene and narrative that Shulk would gain new Monado art powers, nope. If we go to the is now new new arts because it should be there we get Monado Eater and Battle Souls is now below lo loved up to full and also key point Shulk's Monado art can now be fully lo loved up to all the way all the way to 10 but what is Eater essentially 
is a fan shape and it consumes any buffs your enemies might might have on it. And also inflicts bleed. <laughs> so basically, your your enemy one wants to buff itself up. Well, guess what? You can make them stop. And you know what? This is just just a taste of what the Monado has. So we are going to look forward to you you, you using it a great deal. I think though, with that, that, that said, guys, a new Monado art in hand. Many corpses lay lay laid bare across our floor. That were well, some were caused by us and some some weren't. But hey, let's not focus on who killed who. <laughs> let's just focus on the fact that we we came out the victor. History is written by the winners, after all. Dumbad, did you, Dumbad, did you just skewer, skewer a corpse because you felt like it? <laughs> One shot me. Oh well. That's that though, guys. We gonna call things there. A new, a new Monado art. Many side quests done. Oh, all in all, a good job well done. So, with that said, if you like the video, be sure to like it. If you don't like it, well then you can go back into the tomb where all, where all the corpses and coffins are. But. If you want to subscribe to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe, and we'll see, see you guys next time with us go to higher places and, cold, and colder climates. Phallic Mountain, here we come. I think Fjord has waited long enough. Joke, this is a bad time to get, I get a cold. <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now. You're going to go somewhere colder. Oh well. But... Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.